have three ways in which we have connectivity throughout the business. We have smart planning, smart machines and smart data. With our smart planning, we're able to take the customer order uh, through the website. Uh, that then feeds into a number of different software packages we have which are all integrated together. These look at demand planning, uh, inventory optimization, production planning and all the way down to our uh, uh, production monitoring system like MES. This therefore reduces the amount of manual interaction from customer order entry through to information being relayed to the shop floor. So we have smart machines as well. Uh, with the smart machines we're able to hook them up to the cloud which enables us to down draw all of the setting sheet parameters to the machines to speed up uh, setup time, so a SMED initiative. Uh, we also have capability to send diagnostic information to our machine manufacturers so they can diagnose maintenance issues which reduces downtime. Process engineers are also able to access the machines remotely using their smartphone which enables them to modify the process parameters externally which gets the machine back up and running quicker which again reduces downtime and improves the service to customers. And then smart data, so through that MES we're able to gather a lot of really good information around our OE performance identifying where our weaknesses are, where opportunities for improvement are, uh, and that's helped to give us a platform to make good decisions and get the best return on our investment for uh, capital projects. It's had a huge impact and it's core to everything we do. Um, we use the smart data that comes out of the MES system to drive some of our improvement initiatives. So over the last 15 years, it's helped with our machine replacement programs, it's helped with our tooling development programs. Uh, so much so that when I first started the company, we had 300 machines making 1.5 million mouldings a day. Today we have 120 machines making 3.7 million mouldings a day. So it's made a, a huge difference to our efficiency levels. From a materials handling point of view, um, we've got 70% of our machines are now directly fed from silos. We've also implemented simple robotics such as sprue pickers so that we can pick the sprues from the machines, drop them into a grinder and do inline reprocessing. Uh, that's enabled us to reduce our material waste going off site by about 75% and we've been able to pass those cost savings on to our customers um, and also reducing that manual handling of waste um, for an operator on the uh, shop floor. So we're still at the beginning of our Industry 4.0 journey, uh, there's still plenty of opportunity for us to, to continue with our de uh, development on that area. Um, from a quality point of view, there's additional controls we can put in with regards to our inputs to the process, so be that around the material controls, so uh, regrind percentage levels, uh, material con moisture content levels, this can all be controlled uh, through the data. The chilled water system that helps cool the machines and the tools that can all be controlled through Industry 4.0, so we can actually control the temperature levels and monitor the levels and the flow rates going around the tools. Um, from an energy efficiency point of view, uh, we can also look at energy metering on all the machines, so you can optimise that power consumption on, on the screw back, on injection, etc. So we can really start to look at some cost savings through that. In the future also, once our machinery suppliers have captured enough data around the issues that cause the faults on the machines, they'll actually start to be able to do predictive maintenance to have diagnosis of the faults before they actually fail through some leading indicators. And that will be able to ensure that we can repair the machines before they fail and eliminate unplanned downtime. So it has to be sponsored from the very top, um, always keeping customers in mind. It's going to be a long journey, we're at the beginning of the journey ourselves, when you've got 120 injection moulding machines, you're not going to be able to switch them all over to Industry 4.0 just like that. We've replaced 25% of our machines in the last three years, and as we've done that, we've always looked for the, the normal benefits, the cycle time benefits, the energy efficiency benefits, the output benefits, but we've also made sure that we've included the connectivity benefits, so that actually when we come to a point of critical mass, we can link all those machines together, get them talking together, use the Industry 4.0 uh, information that's coming through from our planning systems uh, and that information that's coming through from our smart data and bring it all together into uh, an improved experience for our customers.